Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at Google's link shortener. A lot of you are probably familiar with Bitly or TinyURL, but may not have heard of the service that Google offers. It's actually just called Google, but it's spelled G-O-O dot G-L. And it works just like the other link shorteners. Let's take a look at it now. The purpose of a link shortener is to take a long, ugly link and turn it into a short link that's easier to work with. You can kind of see how that works with these URLs that I've gotten here already. On the left, we have the original URL. And on the right, we have a shortened version of it that takes you to the same place. Let's create a new shortened URL to see how it's done. Here, I have a PDF that I want to share with people. And maybe I want to put it into a Google form or something, so I don't want this big long link to be displayed. I'll copy the link and paste it into the field. When I click on shorten URL, it gives me the shorter link to use and adds it to my list. Another benefit of using a service like this is that you get some free analytical data with it. Now I can see how many times my link gets clicked over here on the right. I can also click on the more options icon here and see even more data about my link. We have the total clicks being counted, where they're coming from including the countries, what browsers people are using when they click on the link, and what platforms they're using. We can also adjust the time frame that we're seeing. Let's click on the back arrow to get back to the links. There are a couple of other neat features to look at. Back here in the More Options menu, we can instantly get a QR code for the link. Right click on the code and save the image. Then you can distribute it however you need to. And lastly, you can hide the URL from your list. This will not remove it from public access, but it will take it off your list if you find that you're ending up with too many to look at and you don't need them all. You would need to remove your original file or change the access to it if you no longer want people to view it when they click on this link. And that's it. This is another great tool from Google that we get to use for free. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Please share it with others, subscribe to the channel, and keep learning. I'll see you in another video.